Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join us this week after our extended stay with Hayley and Jeff at the lake as we head towards the Transalpina Pass. dinner managed to stay in one piece uh, after the drama of getting here we're up uh, a mountain pass and we drove through um, a town earlier and missed the turning for the petrol station no problem we thought there's another little village a bit further up about 20 25 k away yeah so we, um, yeah, we moseyed on up to the village and all uphill. So uh, we used quite a bit of fuel getting up to the top, got to the village and to find that basically it was a junction and with a, a <laughs> monument. Was there a monument there? Yeah. Yeah, a junction with a monument and that was it. Not, couldn't even see houses. Uh, obviously no fuel station there. So uh, no internet. And we didn't know whether to go backwards, forwards, or what to do. So we just decided to carry on forwards, thinking, well, it's not going to be that far, surely, to uh, to the next place. And uh, messing about for ages, driving, 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 no internet. We managed to pull over a ski station and got minimal internet to find there are no fuel stations for 20, <laughs> no, 30 something kilometres, wasn't it? Yeah, minimum. <coughs> minimum of like, yeah, 32, 35 kilometres. And the light was on. We're like, oh my God, what are we going to do? So we took the decision to turn back, knowing that the road was mostly downhill. And, um, yeah, kind of drove backwards. And we'd seen some possible parking spots on the way back. So uh, the aim was to find a parking spot before the fuel ran out, which we managed to do. So yay for us. And then uh, we stopped the engine and there's all the smoke bellowing out from the brakes. Obviously we just had the brakes done and there's all the smoke. I'm convinced it's on fire. I'm in absolute panic mode. And it wasn't just a little bit of smoke. It was bellowing, wasn't it? It was concerning. No. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't, I wasn't concerned. <laughs> Well, you didn't look very happy while you were out there looking at the brakes. Um, nobody's happy with smoking brakes, are they? <laughs> so at this point in time, we're not quite sure. Um, the brakes shouldn't do that, really. Uh, we're not quite sure the quality of the brake pads that we've got. We'll keep an eye on it and, and just hope that it was a, a mixture of Martin sort of maybe overusing the new brake pads rather than using the engine so much for fuel. Yeah, I was trying to save fuel, so I was using the brakes a little more yeah. than you would normally down yeah. here. So. so here we are on a mountainside um, where there's no one around with an empty fuel tank, no internet, which is always a good position to be in. Well, it's a good job it's not actually empty, isn't it? What, the fuel tank? Yeah. Well, it's not going to get us very far. No, but it's all down here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do the same thing with the brakes again. No, I'm just going to, no, I'll just coast. I'm not <laughs> so, yes, too much drama for one day, but at least we have a nice bubbling stream to lull us to sleep. Yes. Uh, which will be nice, and the road's very quiet. And, um, yeah, just I hope there's no bears or wild dogs to disturb us and that's us for today over and out new day part two question is will we make it to the fuel station 
It's not even a question, is it? Really? Of course, of course we will. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sheep herding time. Yay, we made it to the fuel station by the skin of our teeth. Yeah, I knew we would. Ah, what? Well, we were running on absolute fumes. It was more luck than anything. Okay, so we continue our journey back along the Transalpina route. So we're at the, more or less the top of the Transalpino route. Um, yeah, and there's a market up here, which is really nice. Just back from the market, got us some loot. Got some more of that gorgeous nut bread. Twisty, I can't remember what it was called now. We had the chimney other day. Bread. The chimney bread, that's it. These are, uh, they're like breadsticks, but they're a bit, they're crossed with a breadstick and a pretzel. Yeah. They're really, really nice. Two uh, wooden spatulas. Those are quite old and these are very nice and the very best to find is I've got a new mug, Transylvania mug, Romanian bears, but look it's got my name on it in Romanian, pretty impressed with that, we've got a cup with a chip in it so that can go out on this or replace it, my Romanian mug, very happy with that.
the way to do it. After 300 meters. a wide berth at the minute but I'm sure uh, she'll come round. I think there's like six dogs and is it three or four cats on this side. The strangest thing is the guys in this caravan here next to us we were on one of the other campsites with us about two weeks ago. Just goes to show. Just show you some of the facilities. These are the showers. This is the shower. It's a lovely big cubicle with an overhead shower and pegs back here, loads of space. Ah, wonderful. Um, yeah, and we're parked just through the back there. The toilet. Although it might be a hole in the floor, at least it's done nicely. Um, yeah, and you've got a nice little sink there as well. Yeah, tried to make it look homely. That's lovely. <coughs> Gotta love the arrogance of cats. They just make themselves comfortable anywhere they like. You're comfy. Kitty. Hello. Hello, Gunis. You fluffy. Hello. <laughs> You're gorgeous. 
when we left Jeff and Haley's a few days ago, we were handed a whole load of tomatoes. Some of them were quite overripe, so not great for in a salad, etc. But we have got homemade tomato soup. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. I can honestly say that was the best tomato soup I have ever, ever had, including the Heinz yeah, it's much vegan. Than Heinz. Mm. <laughs> Tomatoes were so tasty. We definitely need to go back and see Jeff and Haley and get some more. Or just for the tomatoes. Yeah. I think you can probably get those tomatoes anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere around here. Mm, absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Well done. That was amazing. Caught this extremely rare moment on camera. <laughs> oh, what are you saying? The wife is baking. Last week. She's baking. And I cooked dinner last week. She's hand mixing a crumble on the pan. This is possibly the most dangerous thing you can do. How are you going to wash your hands? <laughs> Stick them in your face and get a lick them. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. Anyway, we got, we got fresh apples um were given to us from the last campsite and we've also got freshly picked wild raspberries foraged foraged from this campsite so we're gonna have an apple and raspberry crumble why not and we got some really ancient flour from the uk which has <laughs> been and we've got lactose milk so we can make custard and we have custard powder yes. so it's gonna be a full-on full-on british oh, pudding yeah all in 30, all in 32 degree heat wonderful <laughs> <laughs> look forward to it ah. look what i made crumble i taste it now oh no don't ruin it my taste it <laughs> looks good and i've got custard over here hey, hey. yeah my lacto free milk birds custard powder the original no yes. no nonsense one and only Okay, so excuse the fan noise behind, it's boiling hot in here. And what are we doing? Eating piping hot food. <sighs> mm. How is your crumble? Flipping gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, taste of home. <laughs> it's I'm nice. Young. Little fella, so ballsy. We've nicknamed him Kahuna. He went in and stole the dog food last night. He just comes over and sits where he wants and climbs where he wants and does what he wants. He's going to go on the He's table jump now. on the table and get to that pot. Yes, look at him. So ballsy. He does not care. We're just packing up to go now. This has been our home for the last two days. A couple of really over-friendly cats. I'm sure you all have seen the footage already. There's a lily pond down here uh, that the, the chap bought himself, uh, put in himself. He bought this land as agricultural land. Uh, you know, like many, uh, it's quite hard work to to grow your your crops and then make money out of them. So uh, he decided he wanted to turn it into a nice tranquil space and loved water. So created this lake and they're seating all around. Lily's on it, it's gorgeous. And uh, I think we're the only ones left. My goodness, everyone's gone. Ah, oh, there's our fluffy friend. Hey, boy. Hey, yeah. Uh, here we are. Uh, it's been fabulous. We hit the road again, and before we go to our park up for the night, we just need a quick pit stop for some shopping. I was just looking through the fridge here for something to find something a little bit different. I think I might have found it out there. Yeah, crap. Definitely fancy that. One minute, we're on the motorway. Next minute, we turn off. Onto this. Beautiful. What? Two odd kilometers. I know we've got percussion going in the back now. Here we are tonight's park up. A pretty reservoir however it's absolutely filthy all that there it's plastic bottles people have been arriving roughly every few minutes they stay 10 minutes so it's like they just go for a quick dip and then they leave they don't stay for very long it's very strange it's almost like a sunday bath ritual but how pretty is that sky 
that's about all we have time for this week thank you so much for joining us we hope you like our videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button for future videos uh, it's all free and do give us a thumbs up and send us any comments until next time take care